all the things you might say about Triple X The Return of Xander Cage, I can't imagine anyone calling it boring. So in Triple X Return of Xander Cage, Vin Diesel and his stuntman play Xander Cage, a former spy that is presumed to be dead. When a group of evil spies break in and steal a spy device that does spy movie type things from a group of governmental spies, Xander Cage must return to being a spy and recruit a team of good spies to stop the evil spies from doing evil spy type things. If that sounds amazing to you, this is your movie. Now, given that this movie just kind of revels in dumbness and badness, and what would normally be bad in a different movie is what this movie is putting up as good, I'm not gonna do my normal good-bad evaluation. I'll just kind of walk you through the movie. So let's start off with the story. Right off the bat, the script for this movie feels like it was written by a 13-year-old in the year 2003 that was hopped up on cocaine and Red Bull. I mean, seriously, the movie feels like, what if you mix James Bond with extreme sports and the lead guy's dressed like a pimp with a fur coat and there's like super cool martial arts, and then there's like a jungle rave, and then someone jumps out of an airplane and they live, and then there's two guys fighting in an intersection, and they're getting hit by cars and they're still running after each other. That would be awesome. Now, if I'm being honest, on paper, you give me that premise and you say Donnie Yen's in it and Tony Jaws, and I'll go, that actually sounds kind of awesome. The problem is it's really not awesome because the execution is so bad. You're watching the movie and Vin Diesel's pushing 50 and every single attractive woman in this movie throws themselves at Vin Diesel. They're like, oh, your muscles are so big. And I'm not exaggerating when I say he slept with 10 women by 20 minutes into the movie. That's the kind of movie that you're watching. And once again, on paper, it looks like this movie has an amazing cast. Vin Diesel in these dumb, fun kind of action movies, he can pull it off. Like I said, Donnie Yen, Tony Jaa, Great picks for this, and I'll say, Donnie Yen definitely gets to do a great job in this movie. But you just kind of feel like the rest of the cast is wasted. Tawny Collette feels like she's reading cue cards while on medication. Samuel L. Jackson is barely in the movie. Tony Jaa is in the movie quite a bit, but they ruin all of his abilities. He's an incredible athlete. Back in the day, his movie slogan was something like, no wires, no CGI, all jaw. Something like that, because he's incredible. In this movie, he has scenes where he's in fist fights and they do all the cut food choppy stuff. So he, he gets like two cool kicks in the whole movie. He has a chase scene. It's nothing like the cool chase scene from the movie Ungbok. They waste all of it. There's a roller skate fight in the movie The Protector. That type of thing would be perfect in a movie called Triple X about extreme sports spies. Not in this movie. Totally wasted to an offensive level. Donnie Yen, some good moments. Tony Jaa, Wasted. Then they've got this girl, I believe she's from Vampire Diaries, and she's basically playing season one Felicity Smoke from Arrow, except like slutty and throwing herself at Vin Diesel the whole movie, which I thought was a bit of an odd choice. But when it comes to a movie like this, all that really matters is, is it fun? And that basically boils down to, does the comedy work and does the action work? In this case, this movie, the comedy does not work at all. It's all awkward. There's a lot of one-liners that just kind of fall flat. I found myself kind of smiling, but I never really heard the theater laughing. Maybe Samuel L. Jackson had some funny lines, but like I said, he's barely in the movie. So beyond that, you just have a lot of clunky, bad humor that doesn't work. As for the action, it's not as good as it should be. It's as big and dumb as it wants to be and as ridiculous as it wants to be, but at the same time, it doesn't come off good enough. So if you're doing crazy extreme sports type stuff, we need to see actual extreme sports that are kind of exciting. So when I know that I'm seeing Vin Diesel's stunt double roller skating down a hill, and I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube that are better than this, it's not very exciting. When I've seen other movies, when I've seen demo reels of Tony Jaa doing better stuff than what he's doing in this movie that's about extreme sports, it just feels like a wasted opportunity, and that's kind of what the whole movie feels like. It's not boring, it's not awful action, it's the right type of dumb. There's a couple of good moments of payoff in it, but it's never as good as it should be. Like when I say Donnie Yen is in a zero-G fight scene, that should be incredible. It's not really. And as one kind of final thought on the plot, every twist and turn you think is going to happen along the way in the story, 
absolutely plays out how you're thinking it's gonna play out. So overall, this movie's one job was to be fun entertainment, and it does an okay job of that. It's never boring, but it's just consistently mediocre entertainment. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. If I'm being honest, if you loved the trailer for this, you'll probably like this movie. It would be worth watching at Redbox or on Netflix or at the Dollar Theater, but everyone else, you can avoid this movie, and it's really not anything worth rushing out to go see. But that's that's just one man's opinion. How about you? What did you think about Triple X Return of Xander Cage? Is it as dumb as I think it is, or is it such a good enough in its dumbness that it's at least a guilty pleasure type movie? Let's have a great conversation about it, because I don't want to just talk about Triple X. I want to talk about Triple X with you. If you're new to my channel and you've never clicked that subscribe button, I would love it if you'd consider doing so. I do daily movie news shows during the week. I review a few movies during the week, as well as a live show on Sundays, because I want to interact with you, because I love talking movies. Thank you for watching.